The Yellowstone volcano was more complex than scientists previously thought, reports say. Yellowstone National Park Scientists with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, recently released a report on their observations and findings over the past year and have uncovered new evidence suggesting that Yellowstone's last major eruption 631,000 years ago was much more complex than previously thought. And more work needs to be done to learn more details about the history of the eruption. YVO has been providing annual reports since 2017 detailing several topics, including trends in ground deformation, earthquake activity, and improvements to its monitoring network. There's also information about research results and discoveries, such as new thermal areas near Lake Turn in 2018. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory's 2022 annual report was released earlier this month, and like previous reports, it's filled with new, eye-opening research and observations. According to a YVO report, 2,429 earthquakes were recorded in the Yellowstone area in 2022, the largest of which was a magnitude 4.2 which occurred on May 11. According to the report, it was the largest reported in the region since a magnitude 4.4 earthquake in 2017. However, scientists emphasize that the number of earthquakes in 2022 will be within the range of annual earthquakes and slightly less than those reported in 2021. About 66% of earthquakes occur in shoals which are groupings of earthquakes grouped together in space and time. YVO said in a report, one such swarm occurred during a 12-hour period in March, with 60 earthquakes ranging from 0, 1 to 3.7 detected. The most significant swarms, however, took place throughout the second half of the year near Lake Grizzly between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Geyser Basin when more than 1,100 earthquakes were reported. Earthquake strikes with hundreds to thousands of events and lasting for months are not uncommon. Weird in the Yellowstone area happens every few years. According to the report, the Yellowstone caldera shrank 1 to 2 inches over the course of 2022. It was disrupted during the summer months by pauses and uplift as the ground swelled slightly due to groundwater recharge from snowmelt. According to the National Park Service, the caldera is a collapse feature that formed during large-volume volcanic eruptions when the magma chamber below is emptied and the ground above sinks into it. An atmospheric river event in June quickly melted snowbanks and caused catastrophic flooding across the Yellowstone area, leading to the closure of the entire national park. The north and northeast entrance roads remained closed for the entire summer, with the north entrance not being reopened until the end of October, more than four months after the flooding event. The flooding was so intense that the YVO said monitoring stations recorded seismic noise associated with the floodwaters. The report also detailed information YVO scientists found that changed how they thought about the last major eruption at Yellowstone 631,000 years ago. Scientists say ash deposits the resulting explosion, called the Lava Creek Tuff, was initially believed to be two geological subunits, according to a report. However, Montana State University geologists identified several new units of the Lava Creek Tuff while mapping rocks in the Sour Creek Dome on the east side of the Yellowstone caldera. These discoveries imply that the eruption was much more complex than previously thought, the report said. Additional work is needed to sort out the history of the eruption.